Welcome to Unscripted Coding. Today we're going to take a really, really long article and shorten it to something that is manageable. Now, of course, we're going to use an LLM for that, and we're going to be using uh, OpenAI's GPT-4 to try and summarize the text. But we're going to be using a technique called recursive summary. We have looked at this in a previous video already, but we're going to take some of the learnings from that video and some of the developments to try and make this a better process. Now let's go back to what the problem is. You have this long-ish article. I'll admit it's not the longest thing in the world, but it uh, takes a lot of time to read and you would like to summarize it. Now. If you've taken a look at ChatGPT, it has some great demos. If you put you know, 10, 15 paragraphs in there, it'll shorten it to one paragraph. It looks really great. But if you start using this in real life where you have 20, 30, 100 page articles, it starts breaking apart pretty quickly. Why is that? Well, it's really down to the tech. The last time we did this, we were looking at Claude that had this amazing 100K context window. That's the number that makes a headline, but what doesn't make the headline are these response lengths. In fact, I still can't find it. I'm Googling it up and finding it in forums based on people figuring it out from the API or experiments, but really it's been difficult because everyone's really excited about the context window. What does all that mean? Well, it means that GPT-4 here, let's go with uh, the Turbo one, has 128K tokens. I'm gonna be very rough here, but let's say it's 100 pages of text. That means that your AI can understand, and even then it's a bit choppy, but let's say it understands an input of 128K. You have uh, a long document you're asking questions about, it's going to look at all 100 pages and answer your questions reasonably well. So if you're asking who is the author, what does it, you know, what is a key point in the top paragraph, it does very well. Um, but the problem is that the output is limited to just 4,000. If I'm asking, you know, a friend, a person, to summarize a 100-page article, a reasonable summary might be you know, 15, 20, maybe even 30 pages. But because of how the technology is structured, GPT-4 is able to take a 100-page article, digest it, but it can only respond with a four-page summary. And even then, that's generous. Like, the, the muddiness really tends to shorten it down. So if I say, please summarize a 100 page article, it might give me a two or three page response. And that's where it starts breaking in real life. Uh, it's great as maybe an executive summary, but it's not so good if you're really trying to read the article and understand it, but you just don't have time for 100 pages. So. What we're doing today is taking a longer document, not 100 pages, but trying to uh, find ways to adjust the summary length so that it fits, you know, two pages, five pages. No, let's not say it in pages. Let's say it's a 10% summary, 20%, 30% summary. Okay, so that is a lot of talking, but it's really important because um, this seems to be a common goal for a lot of different LLMs. They all have this limitation where everyone's advertising these massive context windows, but very short response windows. Okay, so I'm gonna start my project right here. And let's zoom in just a little bit here. Um, and this is just, oops. OpenAI. This is really quite simple here. This is standard templated language. You've probably seen it a thousand times, but just to be clear, um, I'm hiding my OpenAI key 
for obvious reasons in another file. Uh, I'm going to import OpenAI and I am going to put the key into OpenAI here. Now what I have here is just the template here to query GPT-4. Uh, it's going to get a response. I'm going to enter a prompt. It's going to get a response. What I'm doing is setting the model and the uh, messages here. So I can probably have a good system uh, message here too. I think I'm going to vary that over time and then I'll catch an exception. I, I think here I can probably expand this further with more parameters in terms of what I expect the output length to be. And then all it is is I'm going to prompt and get a response. So this is just setting down the skeleton, but the idea here is I am going to have an input text, and I'll just do the triple and I am going to copy and paste this long article by Adnan Morshed. It's going to be a long one here. So I'm gonna copy and paste all of this and paste in here. So this is hardly 100 pages, but it should help us out here. All right, I'm going to stop talking for a little bit to set things up. Unfortunately, I seem to have lost some footage, so I'm just re-recording this final section in which we walk through our process. Now, as we described earlier, we are taking this giant long article, not that long, and we are going to somehow summarize it. Now, context tokens are getting longer and longer, and this technique is going to be less and less relevant. but. The important thing here is that if you're using one of the smaller, simpler models, it's hard to put 10, 100, 1,000 page documents and try and get an accurate summary. In this case, the key here is the split text into chunks, which um, is a pretty simple function where we are dividing a long string by words. So here is just standard text, you can ask ChatGPT to do it, and we are splitting it into 800 word chunks. That means, you know, 8,000 word article becomes 10 separate chunks in a, in a list. So what we're doing is we are going to split them into these separate chunks. We're going to have an output, and for each chunk, we are going to send it into ChatGPT to try and summarize that chunk alone. So our system prompt here is you are a chatbot that summarizes text recursively. You'll take a long article and summarize sections of it at a time. Now, the key here that we didn't do historically the first time we did a video like this is that we are asking ChatGPT to consider what has um, been summarized so far. Take into account that the first chunk, the summary for the first chunk says this, the summary for the second chunk says this, and so on and so on. And so the idea is um, overall you're going to have a more consistent and more coherent summary rather than separate summaries that can look different, that can use different writing styles, that don't uh, work together as one single block. And so, um, please add a summary of the following next section of the article, 
next chunk, please summarize. And so we're going to recursively do this for every chunk and finally we are going to return the output and we're going to print it out. Now you might be wondering what this query GPT-4 Turbo thing is. Uh, we are just um, using a very standard call to, to open AI. And so we're going to try this out really quick. And I'm gonna start running this. This does take a little bit of time because we were using GPT-4, um, but you can see the full summary here. And this text, while long-ish, is definitely a shorter version of this one right here. Now, you can certainly tweak this further. Um, one of the things that I would do personally is find a way to be a bit smarter about the chunking. And instead of just cutting it at 800 words, there is logic to split it up in paragraphs, in um, at, at least finding areas of sentences instead. Um, the other thing is, of course, your... Um, your, your prompt can be better and better. If, if you have specific requirements, you might wanna change the amount of tokens to, to have it longer. Um, and you could even summarize the summary to keep it even shorter. And so uh, some of these online summarizers, they have a, you know, a reduction of 70% versus 90% versus 10%. And so uh, one way you could do this is asking the chatbot to summarize it by half or a quarter or even less, or um, running the summary function multiple times to achieve that objective. Um, this is not perfect by any means, but, um, and this is not the ideal way to do this either, but um, it is a really good technique if you have these 100 page, 1000 page documents. And I don't think 800 is a great amount to split. Uh, I think especially with the larger context tokens coming from Gemini and Claude, that you should be taking, let's say, 100 page documents and splitting them up into 5, 10, 15 page chunks instead to summarize. Um, one last thing is uh, we did another video earlier about uh, GPT vision and understanding images. Uh, one of the things that I really want to play around with is taking this, um, this input text and preparing it beforehand. And what I mean by that is there are photographs within the document and having APIs to describe that image within this article will really help because you can turn it into text, add it into a summary, and do what you want to do with it. Um, I, I'm really excited about all these technologies because I don't know about you guys, but there are so many books and articles and web pages I know I should read, but I just don't have time. And so the more we can summarize, the more we can turn them into to, to videos, the more we can turn them into different formats is going to be really exciting. I think moving forward just for every one of us to learn more, to uh, be able to absorb more information. Anyways, I hope that was helpful. This is uh, the second time we've done this recursive summary and I'm getting, we're getting better and better results because the code is being refined, but we're also getting better and better AI models. So maybe we'll do another one soon, but next week we are, we're doing another project. So please stay tuned and subscribe and come back next week. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.